Hello everyone, this is Wanda Lotus and today I am landscaping the outside of the uh, Matrix Legacy home. Uh, you could probably see it's really not much more than a great big box and while I don't have any plans right now to change the outside shape of the house, I do want to upgrade the landscaping and maybe do a little bit of something different with the windows because, you know, you would think after 14 generations that you would update the outside of a house in real life. So, <laughs> plus the outside was very boring. When I first started, of course, you know, I didn't know anything about landscaping and not to say that I'm a pro at it now or anything like that, but I'm much more imaginative with my landscaping than I was then. So here I am changing up the windows on the front of the house. I added a bay window to what is now the library. Um, and I wanted to add some trees right on the front, but unfortunately there isn't enough room on the lot for me to do that. And there's too much stuff in the back of the lot for me to just move the house. So, um, I ended up putting trees on the front of the lot, but on the side, so they wouldn't clip into the house. Um, but in front of the house, I put some flowers. You can see here I'm putting, I, I think they called those pink hydrangeas um uh, so I, I put some pink flowers on the front of the house and a couple of bushes you know to make it look more colorful and um, for it to have more curb appeal now the interesting thing is I deliberately put the door on the um, not at the front of the lot i I've always had the door on the side there. When I first built this house, it was just a studio. Um, so, but when I put the house down, mainly because <laughs> I hadn't done anything about, I, I hadn't done any kind of building at that point. This was like when I first started playing in February of this year. I, that's just where I put the door. <laughs> and as I've expanded the house and, uh, built it up more. I added a second story. I added a basement, um, landscaped the gardens a little bit, added a greenhouse. Um, I just kept the door there. I, I see no reason to move it. Um, and I have that set as the front door, so there's no confusion with guests knocking on the back door and trying to get in through there. And that's the, the back door is locked for everyone but household members. So that keeps me from having people sneak in through the back door, which I wouldn't appreciate. So I added a couple of trees here to the front, but along the side, um, give them a, a nice shady area in their side yard and, um, added a, a little bit of uh, terrain paint around the bottom of the trees. It's something that I've seen other people do in build mode and I, it makes it look more realistic because in real life when you plant trees then they aren't just in a patch of green. There's a little patch of turned over dirt right at the bottom of them. So that's what I did here. Put some flowers at the bottom of the tree, at the bases of the trees. And so now the house is, is looking, it has much more curb appeal from the outside. And I recently discovered um, bird baths as sculptures. In, and those are base game, base game items. So I'm not sure if the one that I used here is a base game. No, that one's not base game. That one looks like it comes with uh, Get Together. But there is a base game bird bath that I have used on a couple of my other lots. And yeah, it just adds a nice little touch. And I like to imagine, uh, you know, sitting outside and the birds coming and, you know, listening to the bird song. I also changed the roof. I thought about changing these bushes that I have along the side, and I might do that at some point, but for uh, when I did this, uh, for right now, I decided to leave them. I just didn't feel like getting into it. So here I'm adding a uh, brick wallpaper just to the bottom floor. I don't want to do... Um, don't want to do the whole house in brick right now, but I wanted to break the monotony of the, the outside just all being like that uh, grayish color. And I also changed the roof tiles to make it a little bit more interesting. 
I could probably add what looks like dormers and stuff like that, but um, they wouldn't be functional, and I, I just don't see the need to do that. So here I did a little bit of moving stuff around on the inside. I wanted to bring the pride flag inside just because now that I'm playing with seasons, it's... Um, it, it doesn't actually affect the flag, but in my mind, I can see the flag getting very, very tattered and bedraggled as the weather changes, and I didn't like that, so I brought the pride flag inside. I think there's another one in at least one of the other bedrooms, maybe upstairs. Um, so I put the pride flag in the front entryway. I wanted to add that bench to the bay window, but I think to use that bench, I have to just build out the walls to make a bay and um, stick the windows in there and then stick the bench in there. But I used one of the base game bay windows, and um, with that one, you can't use the bench seat that I had wanted to stick in there. So I'll probably experiment with that on one of my other builds and see what I can do. Adding a couple of decorative pillows, um, changing the color of the little love seat that I have in there, added a chase lounge. You know, the, the library, you know, it was looking kind of dark and not so comfortable. And I recently moved out the second desk that I had set up with two, com two computers because I, I wanted people to have computers in their bedrooms. So um, so I have the one desk set up with two computers on it and then wanted to brighten things up a bit. So changed the decor around some. I ended up changing the wall color. I had wanted to have more natural light coming in, but it would change the look of the house too much. I would end up having to change the windows in the rest of the house so that the library wouldn't look out of place. And I had done that at one point before. You can see the large windows on either side of the door. Um, originally, I didn't have those. Originally, the whole house was made up with those base game shuttered windows. And um, so I did a major redesign of the house a little while back and really opened up the downstairs because it was feeling kind of claustrophobic and added those large windows so that there's a lot more natural light coming in um, to the first floor. So the, the chaise lounge that I added in the library is custom content and I also added some blinds in the bathroom. There were base game blinds in there before and um, I added custom content blinds, added a window to the master bedroom upstairs. There they are. Those are the custom content blinds that I added because I like how those look far better than the base game blinds. They don't look quite so uh, dark and put blinds there because, you know, I don't know about you, but if I was using a first floor bathroom or any bathroom for that matter, but especially a first floor bathroom, I would not want just curtains at the window. I want some privacy, you know, I don't want to share my goods with the whole world. Now I'm adding some curtains in the library. This is some more custom content. I downloaded it from the simsresource.com. And I like the sheer because they don't add weight to the room. You know, I, I just made the room a little bit brighter by adding the bay window. And I didn't want to put big old heavy drapes on the windows and, you know, make it look darker and more closed in than it already tends to, uh, than it already tends to feel since I don't have windows that are full, uh, you know, full wall windows. And since I was in build mode, I went through and um, just looked at a couple extra things. I noticed that the bathroom needed some art in it, and so I dropped a couple of pieces of artwork. I like using art that um, my Sims have made themselves. So uh, most of this art is from previous generations, but in this bathroom, I couldn't find anything that I wanted to move because I liked where everything was, so I just... Um, used a piece of art. I believe that's a custom content piece of art as well. So uh, there you pretty much have it. I don't think I changed anything else. Um, so there you go. Now the 
inside is oh there is just moving that uh, that little piece I have two of them in the house so I got rid of one um, so there you have it the house to me it looks much better it has much more curb appeal I hope you enjoyed the speed landscaping and I will be back to chat with you another time